Good evening from Calgary and the curling capital for 2021. The city famously known for the largest rodeo in the world, the Calgary Stampede. The greatest outdoor show on earth normally has visitors from all around the world coming into town. It was unfortunately cancelled in 2020, as were the World Curling Championships. This year, we're back and we are in the beautiful Windsport Arena for the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship 2021. As the team's finishing off their practice and last stone draws, we come in. I'm Luke Coley. Thanks for tuning in here for our continuing coverage throughout the week. We are into session six this evening. Joined by Olympic and world champion Jill Officer. And Japan coming off a loss, hasn't played all day. Switzerland winning earlier. They're undefeated. Two teams come from different spots. And a chance now, as we'll see, these two teams battle it out. Important stages moving forward throughout the event. Yeah, I think we should have a pretty good game here to uh, get off to a st good start this evening. Just watching as we, as they finish up their pre pregame warm up. Each team gets a pregame warm up and is required to do two draw to the buttons. One with the intern or the clockwise rotation, and one with the out turn or the counterclockwise rotation. So as they finish off, it's a chance. Now let's meet the teams here in our feature game with their, the lead for Japan, Shinya Abe. Their second, Yasumasa Tanida. The third, Tetsuro Shimizu. On the skip, Yuta Matsumura. And they will take on this Swiss squad that knocked off the defending world champions. We'll get to that. Their lead, Valentin Tanner. Their second and skip, Peter de Cruz. Third, Sven Mikel, and their fourth stone thrower, Benoit Schwartz. Those are the two teams that'll be, we'll be keeping our eye on. We'll look at the standings coming into tonight's session. Canada, Norway, Team RCF at 3-0, and Switzerland right behind at 2-0. Italy, Scotland, Sweden, and the US all at 2-1, Japan at 1-1. Then China, Denmark, Germany, Korea, and Netherlands all looking for win number one at 0 and 3. We have another full slate of games. We're on sheet A for our feature game, Japan and Switzerland. Sheet B, Jat van Dorp and Netherlands takes on Denmark and Mikael Krause. There's over on sheet C, Norway and Stefan Volstead at 3 and 0 takes on China and Zhu Xiang looking for win number one. While sheet D, Scotland's Bruce Mowat takes on Korea and Jong Young Siok. So as we've seen the little difference, the teams come from opposite ends. They've obviously been spaced due to different COVID-19 protocols and trying to keep everyone safe, safe and healthy. But getting set to begin, they did their draw shots. Seen some broom taps, we've seen some fist bumps, different ways of doing it, not the usual handshakes, Jill, that we <laughs> Or a wave from afar. It was a little bit awkward watching that for the first yeah. bit, but I think everyone is, uh, has adjusted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As we see the fist pumps. Yeah. Yeah. Game. The teams came in a week early, quarantined, been tested a number of times, <laughs> have to follow strict protocols. They can only be at the arena or the hotel, no going out for dinner. Have fun. Long trip for some of these folks. Especially in a COVID world. <laughs> Absolutely. Both these teams did play uh, a national championship. They were fortunate to have that uh, to qualify for this world world stage and turn the right to come to the bubble. That's, I think, key because you actually played some real meaningful games. Some teams have played, but not that the same impact to the national championship would. For sure. And that it can have a, a different uh, challenge on your mindset coming in. <laughs> Final few practice slides as we set it up for Switzerland and their nation. Seems like they like, obviously don't like the bronze medal, they'll take them. It's been multiple bronze medals for Peter de Cruz and this team at the world stage. 
and the Olympic Winter Games from 2018. Well, Japan trying to get a medal on the world stage for the first time. Came close, finishing fourth in 2019, skipped with Matsumura. And just to remind everybody listening in is this is a this world championship is a very key event for Olympic qualification next year for Beijing in 2022 because of the cancellation of the world championships last year. Qualification for the nations has come down to this event. So the top six from this event will qualify for the Beijing Olympics next year. China as host will be already in and then there will be a qualifier in the fall for the remainder of the teams. Just like that, we're underway. Shinya Bay. A lead. Works for the Hokkaido Sports Club. And we'll be Switzerland with the hammer. Winning the last own draw number in this one. We saw this yesterday with Japan against Canada going in, trying to go in <laughs> unsuccessfully tonight. That was their strategy yesterday as well. Keep it simple for the first couple of ends, but with that miss, it gives the opportunity for Switzerland to put up a corner guard. And that Valentin Tanner, the lead. He's not out on the curling ice in Geneva. He's a bartender. I'm sure they'll make him be the bartender uh, in their cohort, their bubble, back at the hotel, the players' <laughs> hotel. wonder what his specialty is. We'll have to get the research team on that one. <laughs> now we see uh, Japan now putting up a guard. Uh, the Swiss team has put up a corner guard, and you see where uh, Matsumura is holding his broom. They want actually it to be off of the center line, and that's so that they can maybe choke off the path a little bit for the um, Swiss team to get around that corner guard. They're going to give it a try anyways. A little different, not a lot of backswing. It doesn't come back, just straight out of the hack for Valentin Tanner. Well, the little, many nuances of different slides and deliveries. We'll see a few of those in this game. So you see the Swiss team having to manage and maneuver both of those guards, and they made a very, very nice draw there around the corner guard. I think Japan ideally would have liked to have their, their guard over just a little bit. Man, I, I didn't know if that was possible to make that draw, and they made it look easy. Yeah, so Masa Tanita. Second for this Japanese team. Agriculture machine mechanic. A lot of different skills outside of the uh, curling ice for these two teams. This one trying to come around the center. So they, they would have liked to have that just a little bit deeper so that it was fully buried and shot rock. So uh, Switzerland can now chase it, as we say, chasing it around the guard. So a little difference if you are not familiar with this Swiss team. Peter de Cruz is the skip, he calls the game, but he throws these second stones. This is, uh, that was run, they were trying to make it curl, it was running a little bit straight. Actually worked out quite well, I wasn't sure they were going to be able to move that red one that far, and while it's still in the rings, Switzerland sits too. So rules of play, six ends minimum must be played, 38 minutes of thinking time, with one 60 second timeout. Yeah. 
A little bit of confusion there on the sweep. I think there was a misunderstanding about whether they were sweeping to keep it straight or make it curl and resulted in a rollout. So split the rings here. Sack! How's your French, Luke? Je ne sais pas. That's the end of it, I believe, eh, probably? Je m'appelle Luke. Yeah. I think, um, I think these guys actually go back and forth a little bit. Uh, They've changed a bit because of the addition of Sven Mikkel speaking German. Right. And the other three members, of course, Mikkel joining the team a few years ago. And then they've all had to adjust. I know Mikkel's actually taken some French to try and learn that, to join them. And yeah, sometimes I think you even see him stay out of certain conversations because they speak in, in French and uh, he doesn't understand it all. So. We'll see what happens whoa. here tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looking at the run back is Shimizu and we'll missed that one. So opens up both those stones in the house. It's still Switzerland with the hammer lying too. So Switzerland in a in a good setup here in the first end, but they're. Oh. They're going to try to throw a, a guard here first to protect one of their stones before they try to make a push for make possible three points this end. Oh, I had to get by that front one. It's a tough path to get past that center line guard. Excuse <laughs> I think if I remember, Luke, and, and maybe you can um, uh, confirm this for me, I think we actually heard Coach Bob Ursel yesterday, the coach of this Japanese team, and he, I think, suggested to them about throwing their center guard to choke off the other team's corner guard. And so we see that Japan actually tried that today, and, and while it hasn't... Uh, while it hasn't come into play exactly, it, it's definitely in the line of sight and a little bit in the path that Switzerland has to be careful. Yeah, two missed runbacks by Shimizu. You're absolutely right in that comment by the coach. And learn from it, didn't quite get it because they still had that one tucked. Well, I had to pick up that. Oh, yes. That's eight. That is eight. <laughs> and that is in reference to the zone system that some teams use when they're talking about where they want to place their rocks or when they're calling where the rock is, is going to land. And so there's three zones out in the front of the rings between the hog line and the rings. There's zones one, two, and three. Top 12 foot is four. Top eight foot is five. Top four foot is six, and so on and so on. So I won't go through them all. Eight would be back four foot. But eight is back four foot, yes. Well, I didn't want to leave a double, is it? Yeah, I think there, there's space. There's not as much space between them as I think they wanted that one a little closer to the center line. I, d I think there's a little less space between the two than they had hoped. But it's not an easy double, that's for sure. So I think Matsumura is going to just try and roll over nearby that other stone. Yeah, this is not the start that they wanted. They gave up that uh, four end to Team Canada in the sixth end yesterday, their loss. And this is their only game of the day. They haven't played yet today. Come out, and not firing quite like they would expect to start this game off. Hey, yes. 
sometimes sitting around all day, you can get feeling a little bit lazy if you don't try to be active and then get yourself mentally ready for the game. There, Yuta Matsumura. That'll make it a lot easier making that double. Giving up two is not the end of the world. You just didn't want to give up three or more. Yeah, for sure. And I thought they'd indicated that they were going to play a hit and roll. But the double is actually a lot better. Ben Noah Schwartz, 29-year-old, throws fourth stones for that bronze medal team in 2018. 2010 World Junior Champion. Oh, that is not really where they wanted to roll. They didn't want to roll behind the guard because now this gives Japan an opportunity to freeze down to it and make it really difficult for Switzerland to score two points. Excuse me, c'est parti méchant. If they had hit and stuck, it would have forced Japan to make a hit or hit and roll. And it would have been a much simpler shot for Switzerland to get two with the last rock advantage this end. But now with that roll behind the T-line, behind the guard, this is an opportunity for Japan to get out of this situation of giving up two. You said gel a chance to get out of this. Yuta Matsumura. Just wants to weld this one on, but not a lot from the sweepers here so far. All on its own, right down to that one. Clean. <laughs> Didn't need any sweepers on that one. Really nice shot there by Japan. <laughs> Just couldn't have rolled to the wor a worse spot for Switzerland. <laughs> On back, four foot, shots don't. Because of that center line guard, doesn't allow for a blast. Chance now. Get on the board first, make this draw to the four foot for Benoit Schwartz. See the clock as well. That'll be the hog to hog time. Easy. Be... Could probably get by with 15, but 14 8, probably 14 8. Yeah. This one will need some work. Tanner, reek out. Gotta get the four foot. Oh, and he's going to just just come up short. I think the sweepers misjudged that. They thought that had a lot more weight on it than it did. They weren't panicking on it until later. Didn't go end to end and there was some sweeping left out there and what looked like two, maybe three, ends up being a steal of one for Japan to start this game. Close, like a number three. Over there. If they come around that, it's okay. Good end. Good good finish.
So a one nothing game, it comes via the steal. And an end that Japan was not sharpened. And to get a steal out of it, okay. they've got to be happy. It, 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 we were just saying at the break here, Luke, that it turned around really quickly with really go. those last two shots by Switzerland <laughs> rolling behind that center guard and leaving that opening for Japan. And Japan making that shot. It was ultimately at least going to get a force for Switzerland. And then when the sweepers misjudged that, suddenly it was a steal. Turned around really quick. Well, the first end, Abe went through the rings on his first shot. This one, back button, back forefoot. So, a couple of mistakes. Close yeah. the gap. <laughs> yeah. Made an adjustment. Now we'll need to make a little bit more. Yeah, and we typically, typically see, I think, Japan go in when they don't have the last rock advantage. They have no problem doing that. So it was similar that they did with Canada. Put it in, see what your opponent does, and play it that way. See if a bay can adjust his speed. Keep it in front of the rings in the free guard zone. Really nice. Good adjustment. Now, because that one is behind the T-line, his first one behind the T-line. Now, this gives Switzerland an opportunity. You hear them calling five, which is top eight. All right to the top of the four foot. Look in Norway and China over on sheet C. Stefan Volstad with the hammer. And opportunity to start things off, score an early two. Has played well so far, starting off, coming in with a 3-0 record and lying one at the moment. This, a draw full eight foot for a second point. Those are real nice ones, to, especially to start off a game. And there's the indication. So it is a deuce for Norway. They lead China 2-0. China still looking for win number one. Scotland and Korea to the far side on sheet D is Korea. Jong Young Siok, his final shot. Trying to run this one, red one in, make the oh, double. Oh, really nice shot. Picks it over the top, bring those two yellows into count, and an early 2-0 lead over Scotland. Korea also one of those 0-3 teams looking to try and get win number one. With a big two points in the first end against uh, a very strong Scottish team. Just that little rub of that Yellowstone top of the forefoot. All the play around the center line. Bobby. Bob Ursel, the Japanese coach. I heard him talking earlier to Yuta Matsumura just about guard positioning. Lives in Kelowna as a 1985 world junior champion. I know he always loves when that one gets brought up. <laughs> Yes, 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 y
Yeah, familiar face, but just different, different colors. Mm -hmm. How about Vod Patterson? Norwegian turned Swiss coach. Long time member of Thomas Olsrud's team out of Norway. 2010 Olympic silver medalist. World champion. You see Switzerland trying to remove these uh, red Japanese stones at the top of the house. Just so that Japan can't really use them. Does make it, but pushes that one back behind yeah. the T-line. They ended up hitting it just a little, yeah. I think, thinner than, uh, than they wanted. They were trying to make it curl. As you see here, and so they hit it thin and kind of come off the back side a little bit, and they didn't want quite that much action. They wanted a little bit of action, uh, not quite so much. Now there's a bit of a pocket here for Japan to work with. So I think you can see by the indication by Matsumura that if they play this double, it's going right back on their on their own. But I guess they feel that uh, it's still worth it to remove these two Swiss stones, given that Swiss Switzerland has last rock advantage this end. Oh, this one coming down quickly. And the shooter will roll to the far side. <laughs> Thought a, they might have looked at playing a freeze on that one. Well, yeah, I, I wondered the same just because the, the pocket was there. If they could have gotten it into a really good uh, position, it might have taken a couple of shots for Switzerland to get it out of that button area. See the sweeping trying to, trying to get it to curl a little more. A little deeper than they wanted. Leaves a little bit of an opening here for Japan to make a nice hit and roll. Okay, we're trying to make it curl, but they were also adding a little bit of speed to it and it was deeper than what they really wanted. Almost seemed the communication was a little off that they weren't sh relaying how heavy it was. Yeah, for sure, the communication is so important. Now, if you get at this, try and hit and roll in front of the other one for Shimizu. Well, good effort, jumps it over, not quite in front, but it sits back of the eight foot. Yeah, they needed to roll just a little bit more, so now. Now Switzerland's uh, going to try to roll and be two behind their corner guard. Sounds like his French is improving. <laughs> I cannot say the same. <laughs> Big scrub here. Oh, we have that catcher to save that one. Okay. 
But again, it leaves a bit of a pocket here at the back for Japan. See, now there's a bit of a pocket, but Japan is also looking at we're also looking at whether or not they could uh, get, get to those yellow ones on the wide side. But that looks pretty tight. So they're going to try to play a freeze. Somehow get down and freeze in, in front of... I think they're freezing the one that's on the left-hand side. But they obviously have, you know, they'll, they'll decide if they need a plan B and they could potentially freeze to the other one. They'll want to make sure that they don't chap off in any way and make it easy for Switzerland to remove their stone and, and lay three. Well, Matsumura made a great freeze in the first end to lead to a steal. He's going to make another one now in the second end. Looks like it needs to curl a little bit. Oh, right into the pocket, the crotch of those two. So you see... Benoit indicate just drawing around the center, drawing around the center guard. And this is always a little different dynamic because he throws those final two stones. It's not where he's always in the house to make this. Sometimes he's already at the other end uh, in situations like this, not an open end where sometimes skips will be down. Does de defer to Peter de Cruz a lot. Yeah, and it, you think you need to have that trust as well. Netherlands, Denmark, 2 nothing. Netherlands, they got a deuce in the first. And now it is Mikael Krause and Denmark. A draw here, looks for... Another one in the tw one back eight foot, one back 12, and a biter, but I don't know if there's another... One of those red go ones. That will come in and Run count. In. So it looks like three for sure. One is for a fourth. So there is that biter on the outside to come in. Two in the first by Netherlands, but Denmark comes back with four in the second end. Back in our game here, uh, Benoit came deep. Back T again. As Yuta gets into the hack, facing an opportunity to take away a score of two for Switzerland. So Yuta is, this is open a little bit. He's going to play some nice quiet weight, try to tap it out to lay two and force Switzerland to a single point. They're really working on this. They have to get by that guard. Well, and an unforced error, that one. Even if they get by, they're going to miss that one completely. It opens up now. Benoit Schwartz in Switzerland to get two. So Benoit Schwartz in Switzerland, chance to score two in the second end. Take advantage, be efficient with the this. hammer. This? What? Okay. Whoa. Interesting that he switched okay. turns okay. here. Okay. Sometimes, okay. mind you, they also, uh, okay. the Japanese okay. team okay. moved the guard, okay. so that would okay. force him to switch okay. turns. Okay. Guiding this one, knowing that they do have that backing they can come to. And it comes in, so 
It is Switzerland takes advantage of the miss by Matsumura. And a two goes on the board. So 2-1 after two. Yeah, it's, yeah, and everywhere it's almost the same. So inside out, outside in. Fuck. Well, the third end here, the BKT tires and OK tire. World Men's Curling Championship 2021. Must be the first time Japan's had the hammer here in this matchup. Center line guard goes out in front. See how Japan goes, and they're going to play that come around. Go! Play with you. Go, go, go. Three. 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 Nana, Three. 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 Well, there's a mess of stones there, and it is a shot stone right now belonging to Korea, but a chance here. I think they can get just a nose and be able to score three for Bruce Mowat in Scotland. And Bruce losing their first game to Team Canada, but have since won two straight. And then taking on this winless Korean side. Lammy and Hammy on the sweep, as they're called. Right down to it, makes the nose hit, and will score three. So Scotland takes the lead in that one after two ends. The nice shot by Bruce to take the advantage in the 3 2 lead. You need to stop screaming like that because it hurts. It's early in the event, too. Yeah, sometimes uh, the skips will actually lose their voice, and uh, some of them you know, have different tips and tricks for trying to maintain uh, those vocal cords throughout the week because they spend so much time yelling. And when the intensity rises, so does the uh, level of that yelling. Yes, 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 yes. Well, they have those two come around. Peter De Cruz will play this. And De Cruz and Matsumura, no stranger. They played twice in 2019. Both times with Switzerland and De Cruz on top. They played the second time in the bronze medal game. It was an 8-4 Switzerland win. And that was Peter de Cruz's third bronze medal in his third trip. This is his fourth trip to the world. Well, tap, try and roll it in. 
Okay. Okay. Well, a little farther than they wanted. They would have liked to sit maybe in front of that red one. Really finished here at the end. Still a pretty good shot. Not bad. So Japan, not, not trying to make a double or anything here, just hitting that one at the top of the rings, trying to roll over. Really important to save the shooter, save their red Japan stone. Yes! 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 Hi! They have to make sure that they're not going to touch that their back one either. Uh, just over curled. A little bit light, maybe. Over curled a little bit. Tap that Swiss stone right in front of the Japanese stone. Looks like a guard. Not sure who's actually shot rock. It could still be Japan. No, no, no. But it'll be really difficult for Japan to steal or to uh, score two. So, yeah, Japan yeah. is still shot rock. But with those two yellow ones right in front, it's going to be uh, a little bit tricky for Japan to try to remove those without removing their own. So by Switzerland guarding, this makes things a little bit more difficult for Japan because they really have nothing for a second point right now. Double peel. This is bailing, try to bail out and give it, himself a chance. They need to open up this middle here somehow. We might see some action even on a rock going back into the rings. Yes. It's coming down pretty quick here. Well, double peel made just like that. Clears those fronts. Two stones out. But Switzerland still good angles where those two stones are positioned in the house. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's not too bad. They're still not great, I don't think, for Switzerland. They're still going to throw a guard, though. Trying to sweep it to curl. Bring it over to I think they wanted that to curl a little bit more because now Japan can make a bit of a play on this. They might lose their back one, but they need to do something with this, these two yellow ones that are sitting at the top four foot. Do you ever think about playing it quietly to just move them around and keep them in play? I guess you maybe could, but uh, I think they just really need to make sure that they're opening up some space here. And they, they might lose their back one, and I think they're probably okay with that. If they can stick their shooter, then that's... A well, they do hold their sh shooter. 
to lie to. Brings that one in the top of the 12 foot into play. Yeah, and now that scoring area is open. It's much more open than it was. See the action off of all of the stones and that one going sideways just spins far enough, I think, to get yes, second shot. So Mikel wants to try and make the roll himself, but nose hit. Japan after that now. The misguard, the double made, set up nicely. Yeah, certainly a lot better than a few shots ago, isn't it? We've seen some big swings already in this matchup in, the, in each end. Japan's going to try to put some separation here by rolling to the wing or the outside of the, of the rings. And it will, they want to put it in a position that if Switzerland tries to play a hit and roll behind those center guards, that it will actually jam on the back one. Very, very nice shot. I think they're looking at whether or not they... Okay. Okay. Or, pardon me, they're looking at playing, <laughs> playing the, uh, the middle and maybe perhaps... Somehow... Making the double or maybe rolling their, the one that they're running in over to the other one. Norway and China, 2 2 game as they play in the third. Stefan Volstead, an opportunity to draw the 8 foot, actually full 12 foot or better. And he can score his second deuce of the game. It was a double that was missed. It was a very tough one by Zhu Xiang with his final shot, but this just draw in, get your second deuce. And no problem there for the Norwegian skip. Gets in, scores two, and doubling up China right now, 4 2. Big weight here from Benoit. I think they're trying to run this back, almost play uh, a double here. Slash it in, right over the top, oh, it does jam. Just about. Seemed in their discussion they weren't certain whether it would do that or not. So this gives Japan an opportunity to separate their rocks from quite a distance by drawing over to the opposite side, keep their two points set up. So probably looking on this clock about 14 eight. Sometimes to the wings it can be a little bit can be a little bit faster, but so this could be at least T line. Or just T line. <laughs> really dug in, I thought it, it was did. gonna continue to slide. I agree it did. <laughs> but in a good enough position, I don't know. <laughs> Is there enough of an angle to try and jump that one across? Not, I'm not sure. Five. 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 Five.
If he thinks it's there, there's really no harm in him trying it because even if he hits and sticks, Japan has a simple open hit for, for their two points. Well, definitely with the extension, giving this one a go. Oh, we'll go just <laughs> underneath of it. He gave it a shot to try and jump that one and make the double. This was coming fast. Tanner and Mikel just trying to keep up with it. It's hard to get any sweeping in on those ones. Come with a, a lot of weight. Obviously, there was the arm extension, but the leg drive for smaller guy than some of the guys that can throw the the real hard one. So a chance here to answer back with two of their own Yuta Matsumura in Japan. And this one just coming in needs to be in the house. One of those nice draws for a skip. Put it anywhere in the rings and no problem for Matsumura. So they get their two points right back, score with the hammer. And we have a 3-2 game now after three ends of play here from Session 6 and Calgary in the Windsport Arena. <laughs> We're back inside the Windsport Arena. Luke Coley here with Jill Officer as we begin the fourth end. First stone coming in, as Japan has had the tendency to do in the first few games so far. Bring it into the house. This session six of 23 round robin sessions before the playoffs begin. That's a lot of curling to watch, Luke, but I think for any curling fans, including myself, we're just happy to have some live curling on, on TV to watch. And this uh, fourth event in this bubble situation that they have set up here in Calgary. So far, so good. Yeah, it's nice to be inside and see some curling. Definitely an odd feeling at times in the building with, without the applause and, and for all the shot making that's being that's happening out there. But no one will complain that able to get a world championship in. That guard was a little bit higher, maybe, than... Back 12, 
than they wanted, but Switzerland has opted to okay. play the tick here, I think. So just trying to move the red stone over, roll over in front of their other yellow one to create a double guard on that corner guard side, and maybe even get a red corner guard on the other, other side of the sheet. Well, there's the tap, try and roll it over. So now I have three corner guards. Just that one stone in the house. Dr. Okay. Pan will throw the guard again. Yasumasa to need it at 85%. It's a strategy you're seeing a little bit more from teams now. It's playing that chip shot, the tick shot. Not just when it's late in the game, you're using it early. Well, and I think that goes a little bit toward the... Although we did see some of that uh, prior to the five rock free guard zone coming in, but I, I think you see it a little bit more now as a bit more of a defensive approach to the game, even though Switzerland does have the hammer here. Peter de Cruz, the skip, throws these second stones 83% on the tournament. Trying to run this one back, get the one off the button, and just misses it. And leaves the shooter out in front. Okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Scotland and Korea keeping an eye over there. Third end. There's the Korean skip. Jong Young Siok. Facing a bunch of Bruce Mowat. Stones in the house. He's trying to hit the back one. Oh, a big scrub. They make the hit. And despite the effort, Grant Hardy can't get it out of there. They do score their single point to tie that game up after three. They come a little bit tighter. They choke off the run back possibility. Well, Peter de Cruz was trying to slash it over the top and misses it all together. Saw even before it didn't make contact, he sort of the head flung back, knowing that he didn't like that stone and that delivery. Well, and on his first one, by, by playing that run back and not removing the back one, but leaving that shooter right there, and Japan make, hooking those guards, this is a really nice situation for Japan now, and Switzerland's going to have some work to do to get out of this. Tetsuro Shimizu, 87%. And they're going to continue to clog the center of the sheet here. And really, the, the sides of the sheet are a little bit clogged as well with those corner guards up. Switzerland doesn't have much choice but to try to move some stuff off the center line area here. Mikel, 86%. Got to make one of these double peels to give yourself a chance. Well, 
stuffs it on the side and chokes off that outturn side to play any draw. Yeah, he had to be able. He had to. He had to make contact with something in the middle there. Even if he left his shooter up up high, up long, needed to make contact with something in the middle to get those rocks off that middle area. Uh, you can't guard everything. There's still going to be that in-turn path to get to the button, but it's not a, a gimme. Yeah, it's definitely not much of a path. I'm not even sure it is there with the way that corner guard is situated. Norway and China, 4-2. Norway leading in this one. Looks like shots on top of the button by Blung to Norway. Zhu Xiang. Been trying a couple stones in a row to play the run back. Trying to run it and pick that one out to score their one. And will make that run back, bring that one back four foot into play. And it is there for the single point. So 4-3 after four. Decision time back in our game. We're getting later in the end here. Less rocks for Switzerland to try to remove anything in the middle. So they're talking about drawing in. So I think actually what they decided on playing is, is not playing that top red guard, but because some of the yellow one on the left is exposed, I think they're looking at playing a double on those tighter ones to the rings. And then if they hit it properly, maybe they even are able to move that red one off of the button. Similar to what Peter de Cruz was playing on one of his, the one he flashed, trying to make contact with that one, make the double. Get by, slash it over the top, get the one in the house too, look at that. Sven Mikel makes them all go away. Really, really nice shot, and boy did Switzerland ever need that shot right now. And watch him fly, Finn off the top one, over the top, catch the one off the button. And wide open rings. Yeah, Switzerland really, really needed that shot right now. So still three guards in play. Stuff for Matsumura to hide behind. Yeah, this, this guard that he's drawing behind, though, is a little bit longer. Uh, so you see Bay actually saying in the top of the house would be better. But the important thing here is that it's buried behind that guard, that center line guard. But that guard is on the longer side, so it could still leave an opportunity for Switzerland to at least get at it. Ideally now, Switzerland would like to be able to blank this end. Even if they had to take one, though, <laughs> they might be happy, given the way the end yeah. is going. Yeah. 
Looks like it has lots of room. Is it going to come out the other side? I think maybe just a little bit. I think they'll be able to, especially with the length of that guard, I'm guessing, make a play on it. Let's go, Ben. Well, Benoit Schwartz, 82%. Just a great shot maker. We've seen throughout his world championship appearances. No, no, no. Whoa, ball. Whoa, Sven, wait. Whoa. Will make the hit, try and get roll it right behind the corner now. Not quite enough. And we have a mess right next to us on GB Netherlands and Denmark. And it looks as though it's three for Denmark right now. Mikael Krause coming down to take another look. I guess they're trying to figure out how they can get four. I think Mikkel went down to the hack and saw a little piece of that yellow one and thought maybe they could play that to get an extra point. Actually, they would get five. Yeah, they bring the back four for one into play. Mm -hmm. We'll see in our feature game, Matsumura. First, we'll jump on that, trying to get at that stone just thrown by Schwartz. He wants to roll behind and will just about three quarters. I think Krause and Denmark ready to go on sheet B now. Doesn't want to overthrow this little race. No, he really doesn't have to move it very far. It's just about getting it, getting it to the right, the right spot. No, trying to get it to curl a bit, right onto it, tap it out. What a great shot. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. Yeah, really excited about that. For a handful that. there to put five up. Wow, great shot. Denmark scored a four and now a five. Really nice. Yeah, they did not shy away from putting rocks in play in a game earlier today. Well, we won't see a handful here. There's just one stone in the, the rings. Yeah, the question is whether or not uh, Switzerland will just play the same shot that they did and take their single point, which I think is what they're doing, or whether they felt they could see enough that they would hit it and try to remove their shooter for a blank end. So the last stone of the fourth end for Benoit Schwartz. Mikel on this almost the whole way down. Well, make the hit, and they will score their single point. But we are all tied up after four ends of play. And Switzerland able to get their one. Didn't look good early in the end, but scoring one, yeah, three, not, three. Not at all. I think Switzerland's probably happy with how that turned out.
Well, each team with a single, each team with a deuce. So Japan, Switzerland. We play N number five. Okay. this. You might see Switzerland force the issue maybe here a little bit now. With that guard, they're really, they're really going to try to force Japan to uh, a point to score here in this fifth end so that they can have the last rock advantage in the even ends in the second half of this game. Well, Shinyabe draw to the open side. They're trying to keep things away from the center right now. And that one will just hang around back of the 12 foot. So so just basically trying to play a come around their guard. Is essentially what this is. But it's continue, continue, continue. lining up these two guards and separating them as much as possible. You don't see this a lot, but you see when a team needs to try and steal a force, sometimes late in a game. But this, the fifth end. I feel they want to try and put the pressure on. I think so, yes. Yes. Must have yes. not curled enough because yes. Japan's trying yes. to play a tick on this three, tight three, three. guard yes. that Switzerland just threw. Yes. Yes. Well, chips that one over, rolls yes. off to the side. Yes. Okay. Well, Scotland trying to keep on the winning ways after dropping their first 3-3 three, three, tied with Korea. Bruce Mowat has a hit to try and score another three. Yep. Whoa. Clean, clean, clean. clean. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. no. Hami. Hami. Hard Hami. Clean. 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 I'm not trying to just guide this one in right to the nose of that to score the triple. And Scotland looking strong there, up 6-3 over Korea. Bien les Alors ici. So Switzerland trying to come around there again. A little more separation this time. You'll still see Japan try to make a tick this time. They'll be able to tick it and actually roll in to the rings, maybe even behind their very tight corner, gu corner guard. Trying to get yes. this to curl. Yes. 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 Shimizu yes. trying yes. to get yes. anything on this one. They'll just chip it in. And not save their shooter, which is really important. On shot? On shot, pardon, Okay, une garde, une garde sur ça, je pense. Ouais. Ou bien tu viens ici. Je pense c'est possible. C'est juste qu'il a le double, lui. Si t'es over, si t'es plus que caché, non. Keep and stay last, ça te dure. Ok. Moi j'ai mis une garde sur ça, il va ouvrir lui. Comme ça. Faut, faut qu'elle soit cachée celle-là. Ouais. Deux et demi. Je pense okay. qu'il faut que tu lances la même là. C'est vraiment qu'on a pas joué ici. Peter ouais. thought that they okay. could come, okay. come around with the intern draw and et almost lui, lui, façon, get it to a point where they wouldn't ouais, leave Japan a run back, that they would over curl it essentially. I think the rest of the team didn't feel that that was necessarily possible, so they've decided to throw another guard. Okay. 
Sæt fri sammen. Okay. Okay. Well, it never came back there. I think they were hoping to try and get a little closer to the center line. Yeah, behind that long guard, I think they wanted to to get it. So this this leaves a little bit a little bit of an opening for Japan to get a couple of these rocks okay. off of the center line area. There's no thought to going into the rings at this stage. Really, you could. Uh, I don't think that that's Japan's uh, instinct to do that. They, I think, they typically tend to be a little bit more defensive. Open for get a second one, and we'll miss all of those yellows. Ever so close to catching one of those two. So another guard for Switzerland. Japan may have to decide at some point. To throw a draw. If they're not going to have enough rocks left to <laughs> open some things up as they are trying to do. They might have to make a move. Norway leading China 4-3. It is China lying two, so well, this will be a hit for Volstead to try and score a single point. They scored two deuces already. This to regain their two-point lead. Hoiberg and Vabrek just encouraging, which is the one sweeper on this one coming down. And Norway will get their one and a 5-3 advantage for Norway looking to win their fourth straight game to start this championship. So Switzerland came a little bit deeper on this guard than they wanted to, and now Japan's trying to decide what to move around, <laughs> how to move, how many they can move, and what's the most important to move. So it looks like they're they're going to try to remove the two that are closest to the center line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll try and slash it and move them both out. No problem there for Shimizu. And been a really peculiar, peculiar end to try and set things up. Both of Switzerland really trying to force it, keep those guards. Yeah, by Switzerland throwing up all these guards, that's exactly what they're trying to do is force Japan to a, hopefully only a single point. Well, the cat and mouse game continues. Both sides trying to go set the end up the way they want. Well, they make their move around those guards. There is that biter in the back of the 12 foot belonging to Japan. We'll see if it comes in in this end. Another double peel attempt here. And oh. now we'll get nothing Ooh. right through. So Shimizu trying to go so hard at the double peel. It's nothing but error. So this one slides right by. And nothing in the rings as well. So and now Switzerland can swing from a force to Potentially a steal. One miss and things have changed here a little bit. Let's go. Oh. 
6 tout seul 7 ça pousse ça pousse ça pousse sur ça te vite hein 8 ok ouais derrière ouais 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 8 9 9 ouais now I think they're, it's a little bit heavy. I think the supers caught a little bit heavy, so now they're trying to get it past the one in the forefoot. And they just do. What a sweep by Tanner. Still ends up buried. So it is Switzerland lying too. Great call in the house. Yeah, I mean, what you did not want to do was, was chop off of that one in the house and leave a potential double for Japan to sit too. So by get, it was really important to get by that one in the house. Now they're sitting too buried. It wasn't where the original call was. Of course, they wanted to be in front of their other one, but sometimes you have to make those plan B calls in the middle of a shot. Well, he made it at the right point. Any later, that would have been off that side stone in the rings. Yuta Matsumura. He's made a couple freezes in this game to set up ends. Well, needs one now. Just trying to manage this in here. They want to be just on the high side, just like that, so that they're shot, but that it makes it difficult for Switzerland to. There's no room to tap. Can you tap that one out? I, I, I'm not sure. He, he might be able to. I think like I think if he plays the right weight, they can, they have enough space past that longer guard. I think if Japan could have maybe curled a hair more, but that was a pretty small space they were trying to get to and still be shot. Okay, so you can't see quite as much of it as I thought. But I think it's still worth them playing and trying to move it at least out of the forefoot and leave their two rocks sitting for two. Well, managing this one will be important here for Benoit Schwartz. One more crack. Sven. Sven. Yep, a little bit tighter to the guard, a little bit of curl past the guard. Perfect shot. Didn't even touch their yellow stone to go by and lie three. That is going to good enough to force the draw for a single point. Just cool, calm, and collected there, as we'll see. Wouter Huskins, the fourth stone thrower for Netherlands, trailing 9 4. Oh. Oh. Looks like oh. it is a shot oh. stone for Close. Denmark at the moment. Oh. Close. But trying to hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 go yellow hey. onto the yellow, pick it out, and yep. won't be able to make that double. Hey. That's another point for Denmark. Hey. Now 10 4 hey. after five hey. ends hey. as they head to their break. Meanwhile, final stone for Matsumura. He needs the forefoot now. Tanita Shimizu got to get past the front, get it to the forefoot. And they get the little rub off. Do they get enough? One red. And it is good for just the single point, but what an effort on the sweep by Tanita and Shimizu. So we will head to the break. A 4-3 Japan advantage.
So a final shot here is second end. Benoit Schwartz able to generate their two, take advantage of the mistakes, the wreck by Matsumura on his last. And Benoit Schwartz just guide this one into their own and able to get their first deuce of the game and take the lead. But right back in the third end, Japan able to generate their offense and uh, has the open draw, hit the house. And a chance at Matsumura to score two and retake the lead. Japan just patiently played it right back and got two of their own. Fourth end. And that one not the long guard. A lot of room. Tough whether they could try and blank it or not. They elect to play the quiet weight and stick for their one. And Benoit Schwartz able to get by, taps it back, sticks around, and scores the single point. So here in session six, look at the scores. Japan 4-3, or slight advantage over Switzerland. Saw Denmark get that steal to go up 10-4 over Netherlands. While it is Norway up 5-3 against China. And Scotland a two-point advantage over Korea. 6-4 the score over on sheet D. Don't have to play with that. Seven, eight is a bit different from each other, I guess. So eight is a slow. Eight a bit uh, slow. Yeah. It, it feels like it. Like yeah. It feels like it's just not gliding as some of the other ones. Perfect. Or maybe yeah, it's like, just... like Thomas had just reset five ends, perfect ends now. Mm -hmm. It's a little, slightly bit faster, I think, than the two other games we played. Comparing to the same. Is it? Yeah. Well, look at the numbers through five ends. Japan, a, a one-point lead over Switzerland here. Overall percentage, though, in favor of Switzerland, 83 to 75. I'll draw percentage. Not much to choose. 85 for Japan, 88 for Switzerland. 59% though only on the hits for Japan, which is surprising, to 75. Steal in the first, and a 4-3 Japan lead. Well, hopefully you've been enjoying our coverage here. The BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship 2021. Luke Coley here with Jill Officer. The first five, there's been some real strategic attempt, uh, decisions in ends of how you're playing it, especially that fifth end. We'll see what we get coming out of the break. And we've seen this from Abe all game long. He just does not have that feel for weight. Yeah, and typically, uh, you know, we saw when Japan played Canada yesterday, the sixth end was an interesting, interesting end where there was a lot of rocks behind the T-line. But Abe has actually been struggling a little bit anyways, but then maybe a little bit quicker in the sixth end after the break. And he's through the house again. There you see the low number, Shinya Bay, 73%. Per percent. 
Until you get a mistake like that, does that change uh, how you play the end? Like now, all of a sudden, with that stone out of the rings, does it change how Matsumura is going to go about this sixth end? Well, okay? it, it, it's a pretty early in the end, so it might not change a whole lot. He would have put up a second guard, but there's no rock in the house now for them to be guarding. So it just maybe gives a little bit of breathing room to Switzerland early in this end. Oh, Valentin Tanner looking, wrap that one right around. Look at that. Right to the side of the 12 foot. Almost comes out the other side, but Japan's just going to follow them down and, and freeze to it. I'm surprised they're maybe not going around their own center guard. Draw the play to the middle. And this is surprising seeing Tanita with the low numbers at 60%. The middle of the lineup is really key for this Japan side. And they have success. It's Tanita and Shimizu that play really well. Well, that's the... Tanita shot we expect right down to the corner. Setting so shot stone. And Switzerland's okay with the, the play being to the wings here, so they're just going to follow them down a little bit. Well, 83% for Peter de Cruz. It's important for them to hold the line here. Are they going to get by? Oh, can't hold it. Still try and spill it behind the center. I'm going to just, just spun backwards a little bit. Might give Japan an opportunity to remove that. Trying to just roll it off to the side. They remove that stone from play. Yeah, not a bad shot. It Switzerland could maybe tap and sit in front or tap and roll to the middle. Move some things around. So they can take the other turn here. Where the play is, given that they moved oh, that guard a couple of shots ago. This! Oh. 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 No, no, no. I think they'd like to move, move this situation around a little bit on the side. That shot was my first thought, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Hit and roll in front, but did he stay for shot? I'm well, not, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll take a close look, but first, Norway and China, 5-3, Norway leading. And a miss on Bazushiang's first. So the draw by Norway able to lie too. Now forces China the hit here to score a single point. And we'll get there one, but miss on the first. Lost an opportunity to try and score two. So they are 5-4, Norway leading after six ends. Let's 
So I'm taking another look at who might be shot rock here. Looks, so, oh, like, looks like yellow maybe from here, Luke. When you get the direct overhead, it might not be the case. I thought when it initially came to rest that it was just red, but that's real tight. Yeah, no. I don't know. I still. It looks close. I still I think I'd still put my money on yellow. Are you making bets tonight, Luke? We're not going to find out. <laughs> It's not going to stay there very long, I think. <laughs> That's right. Japan's going to make so a move. So sure, let's bet. <laughs> <laughs> Japan's going to make a move here on this one. So I think they want to track them off at roll to the center. Yeah, just uh, move it a, a little bit. Because that other yellow one is is behind, and that their red one currently is sandwiched a little bit in between, Playing this amount of weight, it'll be important for them to try to roll that shooter over to the middle, but they're going to be able to move things around. They might be able to sit two here. Sashimizu at just 73% in the game. This is really moving. Well, and then over curl. They wanted to roll to the center. That one was probably about a half rock miss hit. Yeah, I think it's yellow now, Luke. You would be correct. It is yellow, the shot stone. And now they have the opportunity. They're just drawing to the open side here. Opportunity to lay, lay two. 88% for Mikel. Two-time world mixed doubles champion. With his girlfriend, okay, Alina Pats. Alina Pats, 2011, 2018. Mm. Alina plays with Silvana Tiranzoni out of Switzerland. Reigning world champions. Now I'm testing myself on that. <laughs> it's been two years. Exactly. <laughs> Our memories aren't yes, that good. Yes, you are correct. Yes. I had to think of where it was. That was in Denmark. Yes, in 2019. Beating Anna Hasselborg in that final. Well, trying to get this one to jump over, make the double, but we'll go right by. Just okay. we've seen a couple of outright misses from Tsuro tonight. What? Just out like confused yeah, no, 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 flashes no, no, no. and no, no. sort of leaving his okay. skipper in some no. trouble. And Matsumura's made some, some made some made some shots to bail him out. That first end, they could have given up three. He's going to have to come up with something now in the sixth end. He's going to be facing three with his first. They don't no, want to group no. these. They wanted to keep them as far apart as they could. So that's a little deeper than they wanted to be. Not shot. to mention it was really close to not no, no. even being third shot. <laughs> Japan's looking at playing that this double again. So double or do you play the hit and roll? I think you could play it. I'd almost be tempted to play the hit and roll simply because by playing the double, you're you're jamming into that other yellow one that, that's there. And okay. I don't know, especially if you don't roll it properly or you don't uh, get the double properly, you might not even remove both of or one of those stones on that other side of the sheet. Well, 88% on the game for Matsumura. 
This one looks tight. Can't afford to jam on the back. And will hit. And he will make the roll. Just come out the other side ever so slightly. Yeah, a little bit in between there. They almost could have wowed that a little bit. So that they only rolled behind the guard once they didn't have that roll over to the other side or, or the double. They could have woed a little sooner just so that they rolled and it stopped there behind the guard. Now there's still an opportunity here for Switzerland to sit three. Benoit Schwartz, just 68%. Well, easily gets down to it, makes the nose hit. So Mats is going to take on the double at the back of the house here. No this sense. concedes the two? Con to concede the two, exactly. No sense in trying to play the one in the middle or trying to roll behind the guard. If you ever don't make it, you're giving up three. Giving up two here is not the end of the world. Two got grouped together. Now Matsumura. This one seemed to float a bit on him. Make the double. And we'll do it the hard way. There's probably some worries that that one wasn't going to make it. Jumps it over and an open draw now for Benoit Schwartz in Switzerland. Yeah, it did look like it floated a little bit. And so he just hit that top one. I think they still hit the top one <laughs> first, <laughs> but it was very thin. Yeah, it went a little easier there than I thought the first the first look, but now so draw on the first and he came up short, gave up the steal. He needs full eight here. Well, big scrub and then they look up and say, oh, no, we're good. No problem, right into the forefoot. And it is good for the deuce and Switzerland. In the even sixth end, scores two, takes a 5-4 lead over Japan. Okay. Yeah, this is fast. Crazy. まあ、まだワンダウンだからね。Je peux bloquer la corner sur la deuxième. C'est nature. Ah, C'est nature. Je pense que c'est une bonne ligne. Nature. Welcome back inside the Windsport Arena. So we have coverage here, session six, and it is Japan taking on Switzerland. In a back and forth game, there's been some miscues from both sides. 
to really take advantage because you know, Switzerland hasn't fully taken advantage of a lot of the misses from Japan. They could be up big in this game. Yeah, 100% agree with you, Luke. I, I think it's been a little bit back and forth. Somebody, mi one team misses, and uh, maybe doesn't. The other team takes a little bit of the opportunity, but then maybe gives a miss back. It's still anybody's game here. So the first stone went in. Was intended to be a center line guard. Rolls out. Another crack of this for Valentin Tanner. Yeah, do it. Switzerland really wanting to force Japan to a single point this end, which is why you see them putting up these guards. Nice guard there, so Abe will attempt to draw around. We'll see what his draw weight like is, is like on this one. We've been talking about how he seems to not quite always have a consistent feel here tonight. Is that a case of not playing a lot of games in a season and then it's been a full day since they played? Yeah, it can be, it can be lack of focus. It could be he, maybe he's got different rocks. Some some teams give rocks that are different to their lead player. Certainly was a lot closer to the mark on that draw. Okay. It is open, so we'll see. Switzerland make play on it. But the arc. Easy, easy, easy. Spent easy. 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 Some of the top sweepers, he's right up there. Yeah, you see him really, really digging in there. You can almost see the way his broom was moving, how much pressure he had on it. Whoa, 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 now they run back. Yes, Massa Tanita get the one in the rings and will kick it over, but not remove it. Hey. Doing me. We out. I'm surprised a little bit that Japan played that shot. They, it, the yellow one was still open enough that they could have played a, a tap back at it because if you ever, essentially like they just did, if you ever miss that run back, it still leaves a pretty good situation for Switzerland. Is it a thought now that Japan's playing the scoreboard if they don't mind getting a, a blank, get the hammer into the eighth end? Yeah, for sure. That's I, I, that must be the the case. But here you are still in a situation where Switzerland is throwing a guard on a rock in the forefoot. I thought I saw an indication, just straight peel. Yep. Yeah, they really are trying, I, I, trying to blank here, they think. Yeah, I don't know. Be tempted still to uh, make a play at the one in the house. Or play the run back like they did on the first one. Definitely a plan in mind, and that goes on the mental work that goes through every end. And, and then within, uh, within the game, there's each end of how you go about it, trying to manage the hammer, manage each stone. And then things change when you're not executing. You have to change your plan sometimes if you're not getting your rocks in the right spot or you miss a shot. And we've seen that a couple of times already in this game, Luke, where 
in the middle of an end, one shot is missed and suddenly the whole momentum of that end is changed. And this guard comes tighter, so looks like the run back will be called this time for Shimizu and he needs to make one. He needs one to go his way. be the straight peel. Encore une? Ouais, je pense, hein. C'est bien, non? Oui, Shimizu at just 55% on his hits. Give me a little glass. Yeah, he's outright missed a, missed a few of those peel weight hits. On doit être caché, ça c'est le plus important. No, no. Il faut qu'on ait une garde. Deux demi peel. Excellent. Oh, Switzerland has to be happy. They have one in there. They're guarding it up. Guarding in third stones. So they're going to try to play the run back. If they really want to blank this end, this would be a good time for Shimizu to make one of these hits. Nothing laid to it. Does he got it? And this time he'll pick it out. The run back for Tetsuro Shimizu. Still leaves a guard there, obviously, for Switzerland to draw around. Really nice. Just catches the one in the house. At least it's their rock up front now. So if Switzerland draws around here, then they can. Promote their own rock instead of their oppositions. Line Really trying to finish this one, Mikel and Tanner. Big scrub to get it that far. So great work by the front end. Well, the run back or straight hit on it. Is there enough of it showing, Joe? Uh, it, it's just a small piece. I guess it depends what they want the result to be. And I think by them playing this run back, they might actually have a, a better opportunity to blank if they can hit it properly and, and roll the one that they're the red one that they're hitting if they hit it properly and are able to roll that one a little bit more to the other side of the house it would mean that their shooter would roll off a little bit switzerland will be forced to hit they'll be have to hit and roll uh, but if they don't make the roll then japan would have that blank that they've been searching for all end well, they made one right back on the last shot that's what i hear Pretty close. Kicked that one out in the open. Yep, they could, they could probably could have swept that a little bit. Gotten a little more action off of it. M would have made this hit and roll a little bit harder because there would have been a little more separation. Two different ways of making that run back. Shimizu, throw it hard. And that one was a controlled way to run back. 
Yeah, and I think that's just because you wanted the result. The result was was different, and so the weight choice was different. It can roll or come around là, mais mais là je pense c'est trop facile. Moi je préfère it and roll perso, mais je pense que là il arrive tout à fait à l'enlever. Ah, tu dis où bien il fait ça avec Ak. So some discussion here for Switzerland about whether to hit and roll, maybe even just draw. Check in Norway and China. Seven Volstead lying one back of the forefoot. Outturn draw has to deal with all those guards out in front. A lot of discussion in this end with a lot of stones in play. Looks like this needs to curl in a little bit. He's really out there for line. Oh. Oh, tried. The weight was okay. pretty close, but just got out a little bit wider, and it's just a single point, so a two-point lead by Norway. 6-4, they lead China after seven. There's still some discussion here in, in our game with Switzerland. Trying to decide really whether or not they want to draw even mm -hmm. if they're willing to give up two okay. points. Or do they want to hit and potentially not make the roll and allow Japan to blank? So it's really what they want the result to be. Are they okay giving up two instead of allowing Japan to blank? So it looks like they've decided to play the draw. Even if it means Japan is able to make a shot for two, what happens with this is that that would then allow Switzerland to have the last rock advantage in the eighth end, which is really, really key in a tight game. Taking the chance now. Ah, try to bien. execute. Oh, did that one jump? Yeah, really, took really, off. really started to go sideways off the center line. Okay. Well, with that jump, did it overcurl the other side to get access? I think it might have. See here if it does start to just go. They didn't seem to react to it, but uh, I agree with you, Luke. It seemed to really move there. So Japan will, will try to make a tap back here for for two. So as you said, Jill, Switzerland took the risk knowing that two might be the, the end result for Japan. I think they were more happy that they want to try and have hammer into the eighth end, even if they're down a single point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, they wanted to make this really difficult for Japan to try to score their two, and it did overcurl a little bit, because they, they could have also, you know, you're never unhappy with a steal, necessarily. <laughs> but giving up two here just means that Switzerland has hammer in the eighth end, and then if they can force in the ninth, we're really trying to get this one to curl up to chip it over. And that steal will happen. They chip it in even more to secure the single point stolen. Japan will have the hammer into the eighth, but down two points now. Six, four here in our feature game in the World Man's Curling Championship.
Je pense que c'est bien. Je pense Plutôt 5 que 6. Ouais, c'est 5. 5. 10, 6. Ça a l'air méga vite, six. mais. C'est bien vitesse. 5, 6. Je pense que c'est 5. Juste 5. 6, 6, 6. 5, 6. You're watching live coverage okay. from the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship 2021. We're in the lovely Windsport Arena at Canada Olympic Park. This is event number four in the curling capital, the curling bubble. It's been smooth sailing for the first two days of competition. The teams now getting into the regular flow, the regular routine of the games. It's the only game of the day for Japan. Trail 6-4. Had a chance for two. Wasn't an easy one, but they had an opportunity. Yeah, I think that could be the momentum change that we've been waiting for this, this game. We've seen it happening in between ends, mid-end. A uh, shift change in, in the momentum of an end, but we haven't really seen it happen yet in the game, and I think that might have that might have been it. So Switzerland happy to take the steal, but now they still would like to have Japan perhaps blank this end. Right into the top of the rings. Okay. Yeah. Valentin Tanner not happy with that, I think. Okay. They were trying to chip off that guard. But see the low numbers for the lead of Japan, Shinya Bay. Okay. Okay. Been in the chase position early on in all these ends because of that. I'm just trying to throw a double guard here on one side of the, the sheet. Two corner guards. It's probably a little deeper than they would have liked. And we do have our first final here of session. Number six, Denmark. Wow, 14 5 winners over Netherlands. Three big ends, they scored a four, a f stole a four, and scored a five, so quite a win for Denmark, their first, so they get their first win, move to one and three, Netherlands drops to 0 oh and four. No, 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 Still no, no, no. with the free guard zone here, the, the Swiss can't hit those Perfect. red rocks out. Which is why they've thrown another guard. Now Japan is going to try to start to open up this middle, middle path. Yes, yes, yes! I'd like to get rid of two here, make some things move. Okay. Almost caught that one in the forefoot, Luke. Yeah, it was almost got that benefit of the, the third and does leave their guards out in front. That is a positive, but still Switzerland lying one. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, removes the two and watch the one come back in the house. Just okay. misses that one in the top forefoot. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. a real good effort on that. See how hard Switzerland goes to, to really try and put the pressure on. They're in a pretty good situation here. Even though the, the guards are Japan stones, that one at the top four foot is in a really good spot. They can freeze one right on top of there, right on the nose. It be a really good situation for them. Yeah, 
I want to make sure they line this up properly, though. Good. Yeah, real nice as we see the second numbers. Just huge difference, a 16% difference between players. Especially the hits, that's normally the strong point for Yasumasa Tanita. Well, we've seen that with Tetsuro Shimizu at third as well, who's missed some hits. The run back gets him out of the forefoot. Yeah, no, you're right, it gets it out of the forefoot, Luke, but that yellow one now is, is really quite buried between the, uh, behind those two corner guards, so still on the smaller side for the Japan scoring area. Quatre, ça va. Oh, plus, 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 plus. Cinq, quatre, cinq. Easy. Oh, ben, Easy. Easy. But I think Japan will still maybe peel, looking at trying to run, run their rock. Which would be a really great result to throw the the peel on that center guard, but more more of a run back, I guess I should say. To to nose their opposition stone there in the side of the rings, and then be buried under those two corner guards. Pretty close on this one. Trying to run it back and we'll go on to the corner. Have to curl up a hair more for Shimizu. Yeah, Shimizu has, has just not been quite as precise on those hits, run backs, peels tonight. And they've been relying on him a, a lot more, especially the last couple ends. You see the numbers. This time, 20% difference in favor of Mikel. Bien, un peu de place. Très Nice spot. Now Japan's they've got to they've got to remove something here in the in the house with this shot as well. Good Look result. At that float off the center line. I wonder if Shimizu is just throwing them a little bit straighter, and and because he's not he's not over curling on his misses. He's typically under curling on his misses, and you could really see that one travel down the center line really floated out. So I'm wondering if it's just a little bit of backward motion in his release. And that'll impact your hits, obviously a lot more than your draw game. For sure, when your rocks are traveling at that speed, there's there's less time for it to start to curl. And if you have that little backward motion on those those big weight hits, you don't really get any, there's no time for it to recover. And typically on arena ice like this, any sort of backward motion like that, that's what will happen. So you have to really be able to throw them you know, straight and clean, sometimes maybe even on the tighter side, just so that your sweepers can try to come into play and manage them. Ben no, Schwartz, this one's going to come right in, I thought. A bit more weight than he wanted, he was trying to guard that. Pretty close between the fourth stone throwers. 80% for Matsumura, 75, but again. 
Some low numbers for hits that jumps out at me for this Japanese side. I agree. Mm. やるなら取っかな。こっちがやるのかな。あ、チビでも行けそうじゃない。ないけると思う。いや、前2つ避けた方がいいんじゃないか。うん。ああ。出して1点のパスで残せ。いや、それでもいい。それだったら結構薄め
So 6-5, we have BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. A single in the eighth by Japan. And they've cut into that lead. But still, one back. So uh, ninth end, Switzerland with the hammer in this one. They do have control now in these final two ends. They have hammer and a one-point lead. It's a full cap. So you can all full cap. Never touch it. Never, never touch it. Never. Get off. Get off. Right into the top, and we have another final. Another big score to end this one. That was a five put up by Scotland, so they win 11-4 over Korea. Scotland now 3-1 and one with that win. Korea drops to 0-4. Oh Yes. Well, decision with that first center line guard. See how hard Japan plays. Trying to play for the force. You can get two and ten to tie. Looks like they'll have to steal at some point in this game to win. For sure. Yeah, I think if um, if Japan can force here, they would uh, it'd still be in tough, but you're right, they'll have to steal at some point. Oh, trying to get across, trying to get the right angle on this stone. Yeah, really good. They wanted to make sure that they got to the nose on that one. So are, these, rock, these shots are all just setting up the angle, setting up the situation. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay. Well, you know, at some point they'll be, they'll throw the run back and... Yeah, and so Switzerland here is, um, they'd be okay with a blank. So this is the point where they'll just peel, let Japan do something with those rocks in the house. Japan will just throw another guard here. Waste of a couple of rocks. Just too early to make your move in an end. Just trying to bide your time. Yeah, no need to, uh, no need to do anything with those stones e just yet. And peel again. Switzerland is is shot rock. Japan will have to decide at some point what they want. Or even Switzerland at some point what they want to do. Well, they want to try and roll this shooter off. They don't want to leave blocking a path to the forefoot. Okay. 
They haven't been a lot of draw shots in this game for Shimizu. A lot of hits. I was just thinking that. His draw numbers, what there were of them, were much better than his hitting tonight. This is just draw number three on the game. And with that, we'll stay perfect on the draw game. So Switzerland is going to make an attempt to get rid of both of these guards that are out front. Just so that they don't have anything in their way. Oh, oh, oh. So maybe even punch that okay. in. Go, 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 go. If they hit that a little bit thicker, they almost could have punched that into the rings as well, their own stone. Well, right in behind what Mikel's trying to do with this one. Oh, oh, oh. You see these guys kicking out so hard, you're actually seeing their their shirt flapping in the wind. <laughs> yep. Look like it's on indication making a play in the house now. Mm-hmm. I think they might actually be trying to make a play at, at Shot Rock. They might have a small piece of it that they can actually remove it out of the forefoot. I'll tap it. Roll away. They were trying to roll away so that they didn't leave a hit and roll back in for Switzerland. And having no, that Swiss rock at the back of the forefoot is not a bad spot now for Japan. It's actually in a really good spot because it, it, if you look at it here, if uh, Switzerland decided to make a play on that red one at the top of the house, it goes on to the yellow, on to the red, and then on to the yellow again. <laughs> Did work out well that way. Maybe didn't get the separation with the shooter. Right, just so that they didn't leave a hit and roll for Switzerland, which Switzerland has that option here, regardless. Okay. So they'll try to play the hit and roll. Okay. They don't want to do is leave that shooter right on the nose and leave that hit and roll back for Japan. Like quiet, wait, little hit, roll right into the forefoot. Really, really nice shot. Uh, and now that I see it in the overhead, Japan might might be able to get rid of both of those yellows in the forefoot. No, no, no. Yeah, I think they want to roll maybe another inch, maybe two, and then that rock ha is not really going to go very far. So they will use the timeout they are given. 
いや俺はこれノーズでも良さそうな気がするけどノーズしてもいい,い,いけどいやブラ,ブランクになってる可能性は高くなりそうじゃない多分かこのさ赤はさちょっと動いちゃうんだよねここには、うん、このノーズになってる多分こいつ出,出ないでしょノーズパーいや、全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。全然いいかな。Got a little bit of backing on that, maybe, but. Or, what if you tap it? What if you tap it slightly? Just, just freeze it on there, right? And 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 take that angle a bit, right? So your reds like this. Can you do that? If you hit it, if you hit it on this side slightly. Or is it, or is it going to spring out too much? The red. You, you don't want it to spring out. But just a little tap, maybe. I don't think he wants to throw at that. I don't think it's good for him. So. Yeah. You've got. You could even guard it right now. He's probably going to peel it, right? A few options there that Bobby Ursel gave to the team here from Japan. They could move these rocks just slightly to put the red one a little bit tighter, the one, the red one at the top of the house, or the top of the forefoot, to just tap them around to make that red one frozen to the yellow one that's right on the button. And then Switzerland has a really difficult shot to try to get two. And like Bobby said, by throwing, by Switzerland trying to throw any weight at that, it could turn out, it could turn out bad for them. There's also the option of throwing the guard and just allowing Switzerland to draw to the side of the button for two. It's not a big spot to to deal with. Yeah, I saw it actually. Ursa looked down. He goes, "Is this last or is this? It's the first to skip stone. So you throw a guard, they probably peel it, and then you still have another shot chance on your last to play the tap." See the time in your bottom left of your screen as well, 3.40 and ticking. Half of what Switzerland has, but still should be enough to play an end and two shots. Yeah, I think I'd be tempted to play the guard on this one just because it is skips first. You know, and then Switzerland might peel, and then you can play the tap. Sort of thinking the tap, and then the guard came out, and in my mind it goes, oh, you could waste one more. Exactly. The only thing is you take the risk of... Switzerland maybe not yeah. peeling. Got to try and hold the angle. Probably a little bit further than Bobby was, was suggesting. And it's still Switzerland lying one back button. But if it was the last now, it would be a, a tough draw to the side of the forefoot to the button for that second point. Est-ce que c'est important de rester Ah, euh, non, non. Oui. Hein? Ouais. Il faut tirer quelle vitesse pour faire M Moi, je veux juste soit ouvert, quoi. Après, il est chaud, hein Ça, ça, c'est sûr. Oui, bien sûr. Tu penses qu'il va, va spinner un peu J'aimerais surtout qu'il soit chaud, mais pas frisé. Hein Sinon, c'est style sûr. Ouais, mais la, juste que... la deux, elle va, elle va bouger, non Elle va pas tiquer. Bah, ça, c'est trop la compliqué, ici, hein. Hein, là. Hein? Si on met la garde ici, il, met comment, il, met, il devient comment shot This is a, a bit oh of a tough situation for Switzerland because they really don't want to be uh, forced to a single point here. And it, they're going to be really in tough to, to get to the way things are looking right now. No, because they have to take the exterior. So that's going to go to the kick, that's going to come here. You have to kick the crack. And he has a bit of a minor. I think we'll take the garde. Okay. 
I'm not sure what they decided on Luke. Out turn draw, step on. No. Out turn draw. So I think we saw, we saw Sven indicate corner freezing sort of that red one that's in the top four foot. And I think that might be the draw that they're playing. By putting one sort of right on the corner of that red one at the top of the button, it puts it in a position they might be able to use it on, on the last on the last one. Okay, they're calling it a little light, so they're just going to play the card. Okay. Okay. The card goes up. The only other game going on Norway and China, 6-5. As they play in the ninth end, and Stefan Valstead is that one in the forefoot? Seen this a couple times. This, I think, the third or fourth time in the game. Opportunity. Open draw. Get eight foot or better. Pardon me, he needs four foot on this one. That's what these guys becomes. You just assume they're going to make it more times than miss. <laughs> They've certainly set, been setting themselves up today to have simple draws for multiple points. They are able to get that and a three-point lead heading to the 10th end over China. So our game here now, Japan has just decided to block off this intern draw to the side of the button for two points. Did they get it out far enough? I'm not sure that they did, and it's a little bit long too, which sort of gives Switzerland that room to make that. It's not easy, but it's available now. It's really about the only shot that they have. Peter out outside of the rings, holding the broom for Benoit Schwartz in the last of this ninth end. Get by the front now. Does it dig in and catch the button? Ooh. Look at that! I'm not sure. Can I take this away. I think they got it. I. Th Two. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What a draw. What a draw by Peter de Cruz. That's all Japan could do was trying to force into that small area, and they come up with or the sorry, draw. Sorry, by Benoit. I, I, I get the two of them mixed up by Benoit Schwartz. What a draw by Benoit. So they now get a three point lead heading to the 10th end. Is look at this one. Great judge by the sweepers, Tanner and Mikel. And they get the little rub off of their own. Wow. Can I take this away? So 8-5, heading to 10. Really well managed by the team, too. Well, I hope you've been enjoying our coverage here, Luke Collier with Jill Officer and Japan, Switzerland, our feature game tonight. We play the 10th end, the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship 2021. 
There was a small area available, and Benoit Schwartz put it right there. It, it was a very small area. That was a really, really great draw. It was not shaping up super well for Switzerland to score more than one point. Great touch, great management by the sweeping line calling. Real team shot What that was. They had a very small spot to put that on. So Japan gets the corner guard out. Stone top of the four foot. So this is typically a shot that you see in mixed doubles curling, where they went on a power play end, where the play goes to the outside to the wings that you would see a tick shot made. So really what's happening here is that they just want to take it out of that free guard zone so that on the next shot they could actually make a play at it. So they're, they're okay pushing this into the rings. They just really don't want Japan to have any sort of guards in play. Well, they chip it and their shooter rolls away. Yep, nice shot. They're okay with that. So they'll look to guard up their own stone. So the high guard goes out, protects that one. And here in this 10th end, a three point game. Après une fois un come around, je pense que j'arrive nose avec axe si jamais. Ouais, mais on enlève chaque fois une. Et il a perdu. La rouge. Juste sortir la rouge, non Juste hack nose, non Bah ouais, mais c'est pas facile, tu peux la jamais. Hein. Si ça jamme, c'est pas très grave, c'est ouvert après. Ouais, on mais après, il la frise. Non, mais si, si on enlève ça, lui, il revient derrière. On enlève la garde, on enlève la... Après, il en a trois dedans, vous l'avez. Ok. Alors, bien, hack sur la rouge, Ben. Okay. Essayez, prendre nose, c'est sûr que c'est possible. Ouais, c'est sûr que c'est possible, mais je crois. Ouais, ok, très bien. So I think the, the, the team, the three of them at the other end, really would like to play this because the guard is long. They can come around, tap back with uh, like a hack weight, but to actually get to the nose of it, I think uh, Benoit is a little bit concerned that if they don't get to the nose and they jam it onto their own rock in the forefoot and then it moves it and gives Japan maybe something to freeze to. The miss here would be to be on the guard if you were going to miss the actual called shot. Gets by and will get her off to the top part. A great shot by Peter de Cruz, but there's a reason Benoit Schwartz is throwing these final two. Saw those stones and that's key shot. Instead of a two-point game, this is a three-point game because of this one. You said it, Joe. A team shot to get that one right to the button. Yeah, really, really no panic either until the, there was a brief moment at the end there of panic. But sometimes panic, uh, you, you know, then you panic sweep or you misjudge and or let the line call. But really, really calmly and well managed. So Japan just trying to come around that guard, but sort of freeze or put that their rock in a place where if Switzerland tried to play with it, there might be a jam. Yeah, they're really able to get their guard set up because of the, the, the chip shot early by Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And then this guard being a little bit long, but Switzerland still wanting to remove it from play. Japan does have some time, but they got to move a little bit quicker so they have some time to think. They use their timeout last end. Two and a half minutes of thinking time. Yeah, it's manageable. You, you want to be able to leave your skip with a, enough time to discuss some shots or if needed or to have the time to take oh, in the hack. Did this one pick something up? They yeah. 
That's too bad. It looks like it maybe did. See Tanita sweeping on the ice. That's a tough break. Man, their body language shows it's been a tough night at the office here and watch as they're on this one. Oh yeah, it just kind of takes a bit of a sideward, sideways turn. It usually takes the speed right off of it, unless it's already going yeah. quite quick. So now no guards out front, and after this one, there'll be no reds in play. Yeah, and that, that's, that's a really great shot. They, Switzerland didn't want their rock there either. Uh, it would only act as a guard for Japan, so really nice throw by Sven to get rid of both of those and roll their shooter out. In this scenario, two uh, could be a possibility. You could, could draw around, but the three that they have to because of that extra point just Why looming even bigger okay. now. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's... Yes. You're going to need a big miss yes. from Switzerland. Oh, right around. Yeah, nice shot. Basically using that one in the top four as a guard. Just wanted to draw around, try to hide, hope for a miss. And the call just to peel this one out, not trying the run back, knowing they have the three-point lead. Got to try and find a way to hide another two in there. But and how much different had would this end have been if Benoit Schwartz doesn't make that incredible draw last end? That 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 one point made a big difference in how this end has played out. Yeah, I probably see. You'll probably see Switzerland play that run back instead of the peel. Mm -hmm. Well, fourth stones now, those two in there. Japan trailing by three. So Peter lining up the the double here. Double would run them out of stones. Yeah, if this is made, that would be the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Wait, yep. So get one, slash it across, and there it is. That's the game the double made. And a victory for Switzerland. A hard-fought battle by Japan, but not quite enough. The struggles cost them, and it is a victory for Switzerland. They remain unbeaten, 3-0. and oh. Japan drops to 1-2 and two now. That's guy, huh? Well, the last Thank final Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. that finishes up the session. It is Norway. Good luck. They defeat China. we will go down a 9-5 victory for the Norwegians, so they also stay unbeaten. Here with the win tonight, Stefan Volstad, Norwegian skip, coming in playing well so far. They get their fourth win. Be very good after first two days of competition here at the Windsport Arena and the BKT Tires OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship.
So sixth end. And coming out of the break, really trying to get things going. Benoit Schwartz has a draw for two. A couple of misses by the Japanese third. Shimizu really had them behind the eight ball and draw right to the four foot and touch the button. Schwartz and Switzerland get two. The eighth end. After really trying to get something set up, Yuta Matsumura doesn't have a choice. He could play the draw, elects to play the hit. Needs to roll a little bit to score their single point. And is able to do that. Rolls into the eight foot for the single point. But a key moment to this game, the ninth end. It is Shotstone back button belonging to Switzerland, Benoit Schwartz. And he's got to get side of the button. Very small area. This one, great full team Swiss shot. Tanner and Mikel on the sweep. Peter de Cruz in the house, call in line. Perfect weight by Schwartz, right to the back of the button. And they are there indeed to get there too. And this is how session six wraps up. Switzerland defeats Japan 8-5, while it was Denmark running away against Netherlands, 14-5 victors. Norway stays unbeaten, beating China 9-5. And then Scotland knocking off Korea 11-4. Winners in that game. So we are through two days of competition so far here in Calgary. And this is where the standings shape up. Norway is a top 4-0, the only 4-0 team. Then Canada, Team RCF, Switzerland at 3-0. Scotland right behind at 3-1. Italy, Sweden, USA at 2-1, and one. Japan and Denmark both with one win, but Denmark three losses, then Germany at 0-3, China, Korea, Netherlands 0-4 here at the competition. Hi, Peter. Uh, good, nice game, nice win. Um, the momentum seemed to, yeah, <laughs> I can tell by your reaction, the momentum seemed to be a little bit back and forth for a good uh, first half of the game. Uh, but then that steal in seven really, really seemed to change that momentum a little bit. Um, and you guys were really playing the scoreboard, I felt, in the second half of the game. Yeah. Um, I mean, whenever the game is tight, we play the stats. Um, and I think that was really the strategy, just to come home with a with hammer and we got a couple of lucky breaks as well so helped tell me about the shot in nine that benoit made uh, it was a very very small piece of ice that he needed to put that spot that rock in and uh it wasn't necessarily looking great for you guys to have a shot for two um so tell me kind of how that uh, played out in, in your mind and and the shot that benoit made yeah uh, i mean on on these kind of shots uh I think that's where he's having the most fun. And when he's having fun, I know he's going to be very close. So then it's up to the sweepers and me to kind of uh, make sure it's touching the rocks, just little millimeters, just to make sure it gets on the right spot. I mean, I mean, we also got a little bit lucky, but uh, I know he's always going to be close, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's wonderful. How, uh, that was a great game, nice win, and, con and continued luck. Merci. Well, for Jail Officer, myself, Luke Coley, our entire crew, thanks for watching. The BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. Hey, Bjorn. Super. Yeah, man. Super. Super. Yeah, Super. 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 Super.